Why win just 1% per trade when you can win 5%, 10%, or 100%? With influencers on Instagram and TikTok only showing their biggest wins next to their Lambos, it's no surprise every new trader only wants to win big trades. But does this way of trading actually work? Can you be profitable long term? Well, I placed three trades over the last three weeks, fitting my strategy to win low risk, high reward trades. Each trade is different using unique ways to get perfect entries. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it free. So let's make some money. So the first thing I'm doing when I'm trying to get these low risk, high reward trades is setting up my levels. You can see here, we have a very obvious level right here, another level down here, and we've got a level at the top as well. So you can see price came up, tested this level a bunch, pushed down off of this level, came back up, tested it, came back down, pushed all the way up, created a new level here, came all the way down, and then we're retesting this level right here. So I'm expecting price to push down and trade to this next level right there. Then all I'm doing is coming down to that five minute time frame. I'm looking for my supplier demand zones. I already told you I was looking for the price to push down off of this level. So I'm looking for supply zones. Every time the price pushes down aggressively, push down here, we get a supply zone. Price pushes down aggressively right there. We get another supply zone and the price pushes down aggressively right here. What does that create? Another supply zone. Now, all I'm doing is waiting for the price to come test one of these supply zones so that I could get that low risk, high reward trade. The reason I'm not just entering right off the huge key level here is because I'm not going to get good risk reward. And this is all about risk reward, right? So if you look at the chart, you can see prices starting to come to my supply zone right there. And I enter the trade at this level right here. Everything's already set up perfectly, right? I have my stop loss above this recent wick. It's above that supply zone. I have my take profit targeting recent price. We touched this area once we touched it twice. That's creating a new level of support for me to touch. So at that level I started this trade you could see we were stuck in consolidation for a while but this consolidation for me is a positive sign and let me pause it right here to tell you why if you look at this consolidation right here price is bouncing between this level this level this level this level and when you have a significant amount of consolidation you're gonna get a big move you're gonna get an explosive move out the top or an explosive move out the bottom if it comes out the top look we're only losing one percent if it comes out the bottom Bottom, we're winning over 3%. So let me go ahead and play this trade out. You can see it explodes and smashes my take profit for a huge win, touching that level of support for over $7,000. Now that trade was just the simplified version of the strategy. In trade two and trade three, I'm gonna show you different indicators I use and the way to get perfect zone entries every single time. I also back tested this trading strategy 85 times, won 69, lost 16 trades for an 81 point. 0.18% win rate. Now let's get into trade number two. I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to get you those low risk, high reward trades. If we're looking at the higher time frame here, you can see we've got an easy level of support right there. And we've got a level of resistance at the top right here. Now, ideally you'd like to trade from the support level, but you can see this huge push up right here. We're not getting any resistance. So I'm just trading it all the way to the next zone. So then I come down to my five minute time frame, and I'm setting up my demand zones, right? I'm looking for buy trades we've got a demand zone right there price pushes up but it never taps that demand then as we move up you can see we've got a demand zone right here sadly again price pushed up never tapped that demand but the reason i want these demand zone trades is because i want to have that small stop loss and that big take profit and you're only going to get it if you're trading this way so finally you can see here this was the trade that i placed look how fantastic looking that is i think you already know this is going to go my way but let me specify exactly what I'm doing. You can see I have my demand zone right here. I mark it up on the red candle before the huge push up right here. And what makes a good demand zone on a five minute time frame? You want to see one, two, three, four green candles in a row. You want to see them exploding out of that area, telling us there's a lot of buying momentum here. The next thing I'm looking for is our break of structure, right? So I want to see the price break the previous level like it is right here. And of course, I want to see some aggressive fair value gaps. This is a fair value gap 
right here. You can see this candle does not come up and cover this box right here. And this candle doesn't come down to cover this area right here, creating a fair value gap. That's just another indication that we're getting a ton of buying pressure and the big buyers are at our demand zone. Now, there's a couple other things I'm doing here. I'm using an EMA, come up to indicators and select EMA, and I'm using a stochastic. So just click on that with default settings and it's going to put that right there. So if I scroll down now, you can see my EMA. I have the length of the EMA at 200. So it's just telling us that we are in an uptrend. It's an extra confirmation. And so we're obviously looking for buy trades in something this aggressive. The next thing I'm doing is I'm looking at the stochastic. So let's start to play this trade out and see what happens right here. So as the price comes down and taps into my demand zone right here, you can see my stochastic is starting to be oversold, telling us that we have a good price here. So with my EMA, my stochastic, my demand zone perfect, I enter the trade, price pushes up, goes all the way up and smashes my take profit level. And you can see after my take profit level, price is already starting to push down. Why? Because that was that strong level of resistance, right? If I zoom out, this was that strong level. This whole level here was that strong level of resistance on the higher time frame. So I made sure that I targeted just the beginning of that resistance area and we smashed the take profit here for over 10,000. Now I've got just one more trade to show you and I'm using an even more unique way to get into this position. So let's get into that now. All right, I'm jumping right into trade three here. Let's pop up the chart. Let's get some more low risk, high reward trades. You can see here prices pushing up. What am I doing? I'm putting an EMA on the chart. I want that 200 period EMA. You can see we are clearly in an uptrend. I've got a demand zone right here. Price never touches that demand zone. I've got another demand zone right here. This was a pretty good demand zone, but I didn't actually enter this trade. The reason I didn't enter the trade is because you could see the moving average here was trading between the price. And what I want to see is the price moving off of the moving average like it's doing right here, creating some separation because then I feel safer about the position. And this is how I'm always increasing my win rate, increasing my win rate. I just don't like losing trades. Who does? Obviously, you can see here we got our next demand zone on this level right here. You can see price pushed up aggressively. We've got one, two, three, four green candles in a row. That's all I need on the five minute time frame. We also have an incredible fair value gap right here. That's a fantastic fair value gap. That's a big one. We've got our break of structure at this level right here. And let me pull out the stochastic as well here. You can see. And another thing I do when I'm trading supply and demand is I like to use the Fibonacci. If you measure from the bottom of the move to the top of the move like this right here and pull this across, it's going to tell you the discount you're getting on the price. So if the price comes below the 50% line right here, that's the discount area below 71%. That's a premium discount area right there. So let's go ahead and continue to play this trade out right here. You could see we tapped into our zone. We entered our trade right there. And what do we have on our stochastic, right? We enter our trade right here. And at that moment, a stochastic is oversold. So we're getting it at a good price. We're also in that premium zone. Let's go ahead and play this trade out. It pushes up and smashes my take profit right here for an incredible low risk, high reward trade. This was a one to four. I had a one to five and the results were absolutely insane. Now, before I tell you if this is the best way to trade, if you should be doing this yourself, I just want to introduce you to the main broker I'm trading with right now. That's Fintura. The spreads are low. The commissions are low. Registration is absolutely free. So if you're looking for a place to trade, click the link in the description. Join Fintura. It's a great place to trade every asset. Now you can see my final trading results here. I had that $100,000 deposit. I gained $25,000. If we scroll down, you can see all three of those trades getting, look, I'm getting seven and a half percent, nine percent, another seven percent on each position here. But is low risk, high reward the best way to trade? I'm not so sure because I only got three trades here. I didn't have a ton of action. And when I was back testing my strategy, if I didn't have so many damn confluences, I was losing a lot of my trades and I was going below 50%. So if you're going to trade this way, be careful, be safe, have a lot of confluences, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, tell me what you want to see next. Join the VIP trading room. It's the best room in the business. Maybe watch this video right here. Definitely watch this video right here and I'll be back next week. Much love. Love.